Well, hey, what's up, survivors? Dramadot here, back with a new deep dive video where we look at a topic from our Zomboid walkthrough series. Today, we're looking at character creation and specifically the hidden effects of your character creation choices. So, if you're feeling generous, give us a like and subscribe, ding the bell for more Zomboid deep dive notifications while we get going here. Uh, this information is coming at you from a variety of different sections in the PZ Wiki. And remember, this game is early access, so things can change at any time. But we should be okay until Build 42 hits us. And reminder that at the time of filming this, there is no anticipated drop date for Build 42, so this info should be good for some time. Now, what the game gives us when you're looking at traits, they give us just a generic gloss such as better vision at night, um, less chance to have food illness, pretty safe language to carry them through from build to build to build without changing too much. But behind this gloss, there are little mechanical things to be found in the code or even your observations when playing, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So we're going to start with the negative traits, right? You want to milk these for all the points that you can get, of course, but you should be mindful that these hidden effects uh, don't kneecap you too hard from the get-go. Okay, so we're going to start with the low pointers first. We're starting with Sunday, dri uh, Sunday Driver. Drives very slow. So this actually means that you're a uh, your vehicle is going to accelerate 40% slower and have a max speed of 30 kilometers an hour. 40% slower, so you're going to be less effective at towing things because acceleration is needed to get you going. You're also going to be less effective at pulling out of hordes of zombies because you need that acceleration to knock them out of the way. So Sunday Driver, possibly very dangerous it turns out. All thumbs, so you're transferring slowly. How slowly? This is a 400% uh, transfer time. So you're transferring things at four times as long as it would take someone without this trait. Okay, clumsy, you're making more noise. You actually have a 20% larger sound radius and you have a 10% chance, uh, sorry, 10% increased chance uh, to trip while running or sprint vaulting uh, a low fence or through lunging zombies. Okay, cowardly next, prone to becoming panicked. Sure, actually this is a 200% panic bonus. So you're actually getting panic twice as much uh, from everything except night terrors and phobias. All right, short-sighted, smaller view distance, slower visibility to fade. If you've seen any videos uh, or blogs talking about character builds, short-sighted is always recommended because for a long time, people have felt that this little gloss here is simply not true. And in fact, that's right, it's not true. Uh, what actually happens with this trait now is a minus two foraging radius in search mode. So you have two fewer units to search through on the radius in foraging, and uh, and that's it. So if you're not gonna forage, it's true. Short-sighted is a wonderful, wonderful little bit of free points to take if you're not gonna be foraging, not gonna be searching. Slow reader then. Slow reader, how slow it takes longer to read books? It takes 30% longer to read books. Move on to weak stomach here. Uh, higher chance to have food illness. Yes, you actually have double the chance to have a food illness, but get this, your food illness also lasts shorter. Okay, so more severe uh, chance to get the illness, but the illness will pass more quickly. Very interesting. Agoraphobic then. Uh, you enter panic when you're outdoors, and this also affects your search mode. So when you're outdoors, you have a minus 1.5 to your search radius. Okay, so foraging, searching, you have a smaller area that you can see. Claustrophobic, it is what it is, nothing there. Conspicuous, uh, this one more likely to be spotted by zombies. Try twice as likely, 200% as likely to be seen by zombies at distance. All right, we're looking at disorganized now. Uh, decreased capacity, that is of course 70% uh, of capacity. So you have a 30% decrease on inventory capacities. This includes your personal capacities as well as those environmental capacities that you're bumping up on in the world. Okay, hard of hearing, smaller perception radius, smaller hearing range, yes and yes, and one little kind of flavor effect. Uh, sound effects outside that range will also be kind of muffled. Hearty appetite needs to eat more regularly. Yes, uh, you actually need to eat 150% more. So 50% increase on how much you need to be eating. Okay, pacifist, pay attention. A lot of people take this one because when they take it, they think, oh, it's not that bad. I'm still, I feel effective with weapons. And that's true. You are in the early game, but pacifist, here's what it actually does. You gain only 75% of your melee and aiming skills. This means that in the long term, your fighting skills are going to be a lot lower than they otherwise should have been based on your number of zombies killed. Keep that in mind. Prone to illness, you're more prone to disease, faster rate of zombification. I always thought that sounds pretty good. Here's what it actually means. Uh, you have a 25% faster rate of zombification. You have also 
a 70% increased chance of catching a cold. 70%, that's almost double, right? That's huge. Uh, you also have a 20% increase on the cold strength and a 50% increase on the cold progression speed. So it's gonna hit you harder, it's gonna hit you faster, and it's more likely that that cold is going to hit you. So when they say prone to disease, right now that means prone to catching a cold. Sleepyhead needs more sleep, how much? Uh, actually, you need 30% uh, more sleep, pretty much. You have a 70% tiredness recovery rate, so you have a 30% debuff on recovering that tiredness. All right, Smoker, it says it like it is. We're moving on to Unlucky. What could go wrong for you often does. Lucky and unlike, uh, Unlucky, two of the vaguest traits out there. Here's what this one does. Actually, you have a minus 10% chance of finding rare loot. So quick recap, every time you enter a new space on Zomboid, new tile, uh, new cell, all of the loot in that area is generated based on your luck if you're the first person in that space. Which means if you're unlucky and you're the first person in that space, that area will have a minus 10% chance to have rare loot in it. But also, a little bit under the hood, you might not know this part, you have a 5% chance increase of failing item repairs. Okay, and finally, additional little hidden bit, uh, you have a minus one unit on your search radius as well. So unlucky, uh, actually a little severe for only four points. Asthmatic faster endurance loss. Yes, you actually have a 40% increase to endurance loss when you're running or sprinting. 40% uh, endurance loss. You only have a 30% increase to endurance loss when you're attacking though. So a little worse to be running, but still pretty bad to be swinging. 30% loss on the swing. Hemophobic, it is what it says it is. Little thing to note here, uh, you now get stressed when you're bloody. That did not used to be the case on this trait, so not hidden, they spell it out for you. Okay, feeble, you can move into and out of this one. Nothing to add, it is what it says it is. High thirst, okay, this increases your thirst just like it says. How much? 200%, it doubles your thirst. Out of shape, okay, again, this is dependent on your fitness. It affects your fitness, it does what it says it does. Okay, overweight, let's talk about this one. Uh, it is, of course, tied to your weight. It starts your weight at 90. Uh, you will acquire this trait any time that your weight enters 85 up to 100. You get a 1% slower running speed, 200% endurance loss, 10% chance to trip while run sprint, uh, running or sprint vaulting a low fence. Then you also have a 95% chance to be tripped by lunging zombies and an 85% uh, fail chance to climb a fall, uh, climb a tall fence. I guess the tall fence turns into a fall fence for you. And then you also have a 70% endurance regeneration which means you're regenerating 30 percent slower okay pretty severe but again change your weight and that'll disappear okay rest of sleeper let's talk about it uh slow loss of tiredness while sleeping there's a little more to it than that you actually sleep for fewer hours each time as well as having a slower loss of tiredness when sleeping so slower recovery and also you're able to sleep less each time you sleep Okay, slow healer. Reading this one re uh, recovers slowly from injuries and illness. Uh, just an interesting thing. This does not apply to exercise fatigue, so exercise all you like. And the way that this actually works, it appears that when you receive an injury, it doesn't necessarily heal slower, but is going to be a more severe uh, injury, which will just take more time to heal by itself. So interesting. It doesn't actually slow you down. It makes your wounds worse. Okay, looking at slow learner then, uh, how slow? This reduces your XP gain by 30% in every single skill except strength and fitness. Those are already slow enough and it looks like this trait does not affect them. Okay, underweight, again this is just tied to your weight. Uh, your starting weight with this will be 70 and this is only present. This trait is only present between the weights of 65 and 75. You have only 80% melee damage. You have a plus 10% chance to be tripped while running or sprint vaulting over a low fence or from lunging zombies. Then you also have an 85% chance to fail a tall fence climb. So again, those tall fences become the fall fences. Illiterate, cannot read books. Now this one is what it says it is, but let's just talk about what that means. If you can't read books, you're unable to get a mood boost by reading those leisure books. You're learning new recipes by reading recipe magazines is not going to happen. So you can't read those recipe magazines and you are not getting XP multipliers by reading skill books. So keep all of that in mind. It's actually quite severe. Okay, thin skinned here. Increased chance of scratches, lacerations, or bites breaking the skin. Yes, well here's the full text, a little bit of a trick to this one. It multiplies the chance of not being injured uh, by a zombie attack by 0 0.7, 0.7. So 30% more likely to be injured. Additionally, it alters the chance of clothes being damaged when you're walking through the trees. 
Okay, so it boosts that to a 33% chance of your clothing being damaged by a tree. Very interesting addition. Wasn't aware of that one. Obese, okay, this is also affected by your weight or is brought on upon your by your weight. Uh, reduced running speed, very low endurance and prone to injury. Yes, the full text is uh, this will also limit your fitness to six. So if your fitness is above that, I guess it will not give you any benefit. The trade itself reduces run speed and endurance. Uh, starting weight is 105, but this is only present at weight 100 and above. So you can train out of it. Uh, you have a 20% increased chance to trip while running or sprint vaulting a low fence. You have a 90% chance to trip from a lunging zombie. You also have a 75% chance uh, to fail to climb a tall fence. And finally, you have only a 40% endurance regeneration. That's a 60% debuff on your endurance regeneration. You also suffer 20 more fall damage. So this is horrendous. Okay, we're looking at unfit now. Unfit, this one is exactly what it says it is. The qualities it describes are just the natural consequence of having low fitness. Nothing to add. Very underweight is the same, but a little bit more nuts and bolts to it. Uh, starting weight is 60, right? And this trait is only effective, uh, only uh, applied to you when your weight is between 50 and 65. Now here you only have 60% of melee damage, so 40% damage debuff. You also have a 20% increased chance to trip by running or sprint vaulting a low fence or from lunging zombies then you also have a 75 percent fail chance on a tall fence climb you also take 10 more fall damage so a lot going on in that one okay weak it does what it says it does however uh, again a natural consequence of being weak when you have this trait you have 60 percent melee damage so 40 percent damage debuff they don't tell you that here Okay, and the last one then, deaf, uh, you can't hear sound. What that actually means, uh, you can't hear sound, so radio chatter will not appear above the radio. However, this is, this is really interesting, you can see slash read a TV's uh, text because of the closed captions. So it looks like you can still benefit from TV's with this trait. All right, that's it for the negative traits, hidden features and negative traits on character creation in Project Zomboy. Hit the like button if you learned something new today. Let me know in the comments if anything you learned is going to change how you're building characters lately. And uh, finally, hit subscribe if you want to see the upcoming uh, deep dives where we take a look at the positive traits as well as the traits that you can only get by selecting certain classes. And we're going to look at all the hidden stuff in those. Uh, as always, thanks for being here and I hope to see you in the next video.